Sometimes you just gotta get some things off your chest. Okay. Sometimes you gotta get some things off your chest. Who in the hell is this? I don't even know who this is. Go ahead and delete that. It'll just jump because I don't know who they are. Random stuff. Sometimes you got to get some things off your chest, man. This everyday BS that I got to deal with. Let me tell you a story real quick. I'm going to give it about, about, about 58 more seconds, and I'm going to tell you my latest problem with this everyday nonsense that you got to deal with. I mean, you can ask me about the mall, but I don't ever do the lives to talk about the mall. I mean, I do the lives to get something off my chest, and, you know, I got something to say, and I want to say it. And I just don't, like, record videos anymore. And do, you know, they're just all live now, um, if I make a video. Right? Okay. We got about, about 20 more seconds. I mean, it ain't, ain't going to be that many people show up for this. Cause you know I'm not even st the, the the star of the of the the mall videos is everybody else. This is really was supposed to be. Channel was never about me. So, um, but there, there's a couple of things I want to put together. Okay, so we're two minutes. So listen, I am now the owner of four Mini Coopers. I got a 2011, a 2012, a 2010. In a 2006. Well, the 2006, I don't know when Chad's going to give me that car back. Um, I mean, he was saying he's trying to give it back to me this winter. I mean, but it's been a year and a half. So, but that's not what we're talking about. So, I just bought a 2010 Mini Cooper Clubman. Uh, I work out of these things. It is my first turbo. Um, and it's an automatic, you know. Uh, for the tail of the dragon, uh, but no, let me tell you about this buying experience. This is really important This buying experience. So for those who don't know in the 13 counties of Atlanta Metro Atlanta 13 counties <clears throat> You have, your car has to pass emissions Right and there's no dealer that can sell you a car without passing emissions now I brought the car in Macon, Georgia. I didn't know it wasn't a part of these 13 counties. Um, but they knew I come from, from, you know, one of the 13 counties. They knew that because I told them that. In fact, I told them that, that I lived in, in, in one of these 13 counties, but I'm putting, I'm taking the car out of state because most of the time I spend my time out of state because that's where I'm making my money, right? <clears throat> so I go get a cashier's check. I bring it back, load up the car onto the uh, the U-Haul, uh, not the dolly, but the car carrier. I, I drive it home. I'm home for a night. I get up the next day. I go take care of some other business, and then boom, I'm gone. This happened on a Wednesday. I brought it on a Wednesday. Thursday, I do some stuff. Uh, Thursday night, Friday morning, like a.m., like 2 o'clock in the morning. Friday, boom, I'm home. Then I get a call from the people who tag and title the thing at the, at the dealership. And they're telling me that, that we can't tag and title till you get the car admissions tested. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, you need to have the car admissions tested. Uh, they didn't tell me that when they sold it to me. Uh, well, we don't do emissions in this county. But I told you where I came from, and you're you're right next to Henry County. Uh, I did okay. What the, you know what? <laughs> so now I'm pissed, and I'm telling these people, listen, if I gotta come there, I'm gonna turn this motherfucker out. 
Now, they seem to think that that meant great bodily harm. But it's, there's all kinds of ways to turn the motherfucker out. Um, and eventually, you know, I tried to cancel the cashier's check. I mean, customer service said I could cancel it. You go to the bank. The bank says there's no way in the world you can cancel that. And really, by the time all this happened, I find out today that the cashier's check was actually deposited on the Thursday and it cleared on the Thursday. So, you know, so by the time I did that, it's crazy. And I just wanted $200 for fuel to uh, drive back and have the damn thing emissions tested. And they said, well, it's, it's on you to know that the car needs to be emissions tested. And no. No, 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 no. It's not on me. You should have told me. Uh, because why would I buy a car that, that couldn't get emissions tested? That wasn't, that hadn't passed emissions. It's a used car, right? I'm, I, I'm in these 13 counties. I wouldn't really do it. And it's foreseeable. It's foreseeable that that somebody might not know that, that, that making Georgia wasn't a part of those 13 counties and that they didn't know that they needed to have the car emissions tested, right? So the car is like in a whole entirely different state, uh, like halfway across the freaking country. And I got to drive back and they don't really want to pay me for it. They're more worried about me telling them that I was going to turn this motherfucker out and the email I sent them and all this other bullshit. And, you know, I apologize for my conduct. I really did which is, you know, what I kind of want to speak on a little bit. Listen, when you grow up in an aggressive environment, when you grow up in an aggressive environment and confrontation is necessary for survival, and if you feel like somebody's trying to take advantage of you, you know, you grew up in an aggressive environment and you dealt with an aggressive environment, guess what? Guess who you are? Guess what comes out of you? That kind of aggression. Um, but Vlad, I think, said it best when he was talking about the baby to somebody. Um, you know, what it took you to get in position will not be what it takes to main to keep, I mean, to keep you in position. You're gonna have to switch up. And then 50 Cent was said, you know, basically, you know, white people don't do confrontation. You know, they they slide the contract across you. They still robbing you just the same but they don't do confrontation where confrontation is what you do in the hood just to survive, right? Or people just walk all over you, run all over you and they think you weak. But the real thing of it is, right? So I drive back and get emissions tested. And then I find out that when I called them on Friday and they're talking about, well, if you canceled that check, we're talking about fraud. And I'm like, whoa, fraud's an intent crime. And I didn't mean to defraud you. Uh, uh, but the money is my leverage. And, and what the bank is telling me, I don't have the money, you don't have the money, the money's out in limbo. So that customer service at that bank uh, didn't know what the hell they were talking about. I'm calling customer service absolutely useless. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Um, and so now I got this situation, right? Because I told them if I have to try, if, I, if you have to pay for my time and what I make like an average a day, uh, and for the time I got to spend this, y'all might as well cut a check for a thousand dollars right now, right? I'm only asking for two hundred, and they might as well cut a check for a thousand dollars. And listen, when I talk about foreseeable failure to disclose entering to contracts under bad faith, you remember a lot of people. I took a lot of grief for pushing people out the door, like you putting your hands on people. You can't do that. You pushing people out the door. That's foul, that's this, that's the other. And I, I would say, listen, that's the lightweight stuff. It's the other things that I know how to do that you should be really worried about that I'm not really doing. And so I'm old enough and I'm smart enough, right? Because I ain't going to prison over $200. It's all kinds of ways to turn a motherfucker out. Um, and I told them to go talk to their lawyers and I wasn't even threatening them with legal action, but... Man, if these people don't give me my money, this little bit of chump sum of money, I'm going to chop. Because I took a short, right? I put, you know, 1,400, let's call it 1,400 miles. 
I put 1,400 miles on the vehicle that I use to work, that I charge by the mile to use, and I didn't make not one cent. And so, if I charge him my rate uh, for what it took me to drive back to Georgia and get the missions check and come back, oh, they, they need to, that check's going to be way over $1,000. Way over $1,000. And maybe one of them is watching this or they'll pull up this video. Listen, there was no overt threat of bodily harm and I, I didn't threaten you people with legal action, you know, and I took a short. I just kind of want my money. And like I said, like this email I sent today, I'll give you a week. But after that, I'm going to take some action. And... You know what? You rather it'd be it'd be more beneficial to you to pay me the two hundred dollars because I'm not going to lose. You should go tell you should go talk to your lawyer about failure to disclose and entering contracts in the bad faith and you know, foreseeable events. You didn't you know you you know you've been getting away with something for so long that you know most people would have been in Georgia still. And they didn't have that problem, but you already knew I was taking this car out of state because I mostly work out of state. And so now, uh, send me my money, or you know, it's it's, it's you gonna pay a whole lot more. You gonna pay a whole lot more, and you know, the aggression is from the environment that I come from, and I don't feel like you're. You're being respectful, which is to be courteous. I think you're trying to take advantage of me. And that sparks a whole different level of uh, commitment on my behalf. And uh, I'm not in the business of losing. And that's the everyday BS that I got to deal with. Oh, and by the way, the new mini... Uh, the hood latch broke, so I can't actually open the hood of the car. Um, and it's going to take a month for my mechanic to see it. But it's the backup car to the other car. I brought the, I brought the replacement for the other car like months before the other car is even down. So it's just basically, you know, hanging around sitting there. Because I got like, what, six vehicles? Um, so, you know. That's what I needed to get off my chest. That's what I'm upset about. That's the everyday BS I got to deal with. I got to deal with uh, shady dealers. And I'm not talking no, no corner lot. I'm talking like a, a dealer, like a Toyota, Ford, Hyundai, Kia, uh, Mercedes. I'm talking an actual dealership doing this kind of nonsense. And uh, I'm not feeling it. And so if you happen to see this video... Send me my money, and so we can be done with it, or don't send me my money, and I can go ahead and do what I need to do, and then you can pay your lawyers, and you can pay me more money, and you'll lose more money in a car than what you sold for a profit. Uh, will be no profit in it. it. It'll actually cost you money, but that's up to you, man. Like, so I can't be that kind of aggressive. You know, I'm, I'm in a different area, space, and, you know, you just can't, I can't, you know, because I'm confrontational, it's all hell, uh, but that don't mean I'm going to come in there and spray the place and shoot up a bunch of people or beat a bunch of asses. That's crazy. Over $200? Crazy? I'm, most days I go to work, if I, if, I, if I happen to work that day, I'm going to make over $200, so that don't make any sense. Um. Okay, I'm done with that. So what are we talking about now? What are we talking about now? I got 90 people. No, we're not doing security. I can't make the money I'm doing now working security. Uh, I don't know what happened to Frank. 
Oh, what about Kennifer? Why are we talking about Kennifer? One time for the folks. What? Security in the rich area, there still ain't no money. I still can't make that kind of money. What do you mean, Kennifer? R.I.P. Stop talking, stupid. No, I'm not voting for Trump. Hit the like button. Oh, oh, you want me? Shit, y'all better back it up with all that bullshit, really. Trade those minis in and get a Mustang. The minis can't, the Mustang can't even carry what I needed to carry. Really, what I need is a transit connect van. That would probably be better. But every day that I drive one of these minis and I don't have to drive my van or I'm not driving the Grand Marquis, it's not like I'm working. I'm just driving my mini. You know, I get to go around some corners when I come to some corners and I get to do some other things. And now that I got a turbo, some stuff that I had to put up with, I might not have to put up with because I can just run away. Uh, so, it's hard to run away with 122 horsepower. A little easier with 172. And when I get done with it, I'll have 250. Yeah. So. Security in O Block. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't know for them to be mob because the Hellcat won't carry what I want and I don't like it. Are the minis reliable? Well, definitely the naturally aspirated ones are the most reliable of them all. They just ain't got no power to them. Uh, it's a BMW product, so, you know, you got to take care of it. Do I like Charles? You know, Charleston White, you know, there's a lot of truth to some of the stuff that he says, so. What? No, Kennifer is alive and well. All that stupid stuff y'all talking. Probably not better than the Civic Type R. Probably not. How do I feel about Takeoff's death? Really unnecessary. And my only question was, why was they even there? Right? They're multi-millionaires. Apparently, each one of them had at least $25 million a piece. I didn't know them boys had that kind of money. Uh, you don't need to go to those places and do those things to promote your album. You had no business. They had no business being in that situation. You wouldn't catch any multi-millionaire type rapper dude. Uh, you wouldn't have got Kanye. Uh, I know he's old. Drake. Uh, uh. Just, just you know, little Wayne. Nobody. You got no. You can't. You couldn't get none of them multi-millionaire cats to even be in that. So they shouldn't even been there. I don't even know why they was there, man. It shouldn't even happen. They shouldn't even been there for it to happen. Like, like I don't do poverty tours anymore. You will never catch me just riding around in the hood like I used to. You know, trying to see what was going on, how it was moving and shape. For what? Nah, man. Do I still talk to Kennifer? If I need to send her something, I'll send her something. I don't know if I talk to her like that. I don't think she's interested in talking to me like that. Uh, I'm not hanging with Rick. Okay, Mr. Hendricks. Did Fred call me yet? No, I don't think. Why would Fred call me? You gonna come down and chop it up with me? Come down where? Do I think I can beat who? Do I think I can beat Tanisha in the fist fight? Uh... Why would I fight Tanisha? It's really the question. I'm a secure courier, sir. That's, I, I do courier work. And I do courier work like if the average courier makes thirty to 50000 a year. I 
make quite a bit more. <laughs> Thirty, fifty thousand dollars a year. Quite a bit more. Um, do I consider anyone at the Metro Mall a friend? Well, you know, Tanisha's cool. Um I don't know about friends though. No, I mean the mall's been dead. So come on now. Update you on the Smith brothers. I can't really update you on anybody because I don't know what people are doing. I mean, you could assume that some people are working, some people went to prison, and then some people uh, have died for various reasons. And, you know, recently I got a confirmation because somebody left in my comment section that Tammy, and she's in like at least one of my videos, if not two, um, Tammy's dead. She, she's dead. You know, the way she died, I'm not going to tell you. You know, that's not, it's not for me to share. I'm not going to share it with you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's true. She's not alive anymore. And that's, you know, damn. No, Herschel's an idiot. Why would I vote for Herschel Walker? No, I didn't get a Carfax report on the Mini because, I mean, I drove the thing, right? And so it drives fine. I mean, I literally just got in it and, and drove 1,400 miles. Now, I wish I would have got HIDs. I almost insisted on every car that I get HIDs, but for whatever reason... I didn't insist on this one, and it was a goddamn mistake. Uh, but it has everything else, even like proximity. Like I don't, I don't to open the door. I don't have to take the key out of my pocket to start the car. I don't have to take the key out of my pocket. Uh, I got, I got auto climate control. I got. A dimming mirror. I got automatic windshield wipers. I got I got the USB. There's various cars I couldn't get without the USB, and I just have to have that. Uh, I'm not. I mean, I got to change the suspension. I got to change the brakes. I mean, that's just automatic for me. Uh, I got to fix the hood now. It's got some cosmetic damage. You know, I can do that or not. You know, I probably will. Uh, Nah, man. Nah, I mean, they wanted, they wanted, they wanted eight thousand dollars plus eight hundred dollars worth of fees, of garbage ass fees. And I, you know, I think we we came. I gave them nine thousand dollars, and and I wasn't paying no tax tags and title and none of that. Just like I gave them nine grand, and all the rest of that stuff is your business. Uh, tax, tax, title, whatever the hell else you need to do. That's your business. I'm, you know, and they really got $200 out of me more than I wanted to give them. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. And we're not worried about that right now. I mean, they're going to pay me my money or, you know, it may take me a couple of years to get my money. But I'll be patient and they're going to pay it. If they just don't send me the check. I mean, just send me the check for two hundred dollars. It'd be so much easier for you, and so much less expensive. So okay, so let's talk about this now. Well, what will be will it be worth it? What are you talking about? Did anybody try to attack me on a job while I was going home? No. Yes, I put full coverage on my vehicles. Don't come fucking with my vehicles. You're gonna you're gonna see a different side of me, and I might lose my perspective. No, I don't work on my Mini Coopers. Cut my losses. No, man. No, like, you can't dis... You know, I find it all disrespectful. And I'll spend the, I'll spend the money going after my money. Just for no other reason, just to, 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 uh, to give them a proper understanding and maybe save some people, some other people from... Because I told them they should have a policy change. You know, people coming from those 13 counties, just tell them that the car and emissions tested. And I suspect, especially used cars, 
If you don't tell somebody from those 13 counties that the car is not emissions tested, they won't want to buy it. They won't want to buy it. You have to, or they're going to want the car emissions tested before they'll buy it. Um, and they don't want to drive the 20 or 30 miles or whatever it is from Macon to, to Henry County to whatever emissions place to get the car emissions tested. You know, that's why, you know, but whatever. Well, listen, it's not my responsibility. It's their failure to disclose. I mean, because it's foreseeable that somebody might not know that they didn't do emissions in that county, especially given the proximity it is to, to everything else. I mean, like a lot of people don't know. I didn't know. Hell, I thought you had to do emissions in, in Car you could get emissions done in Cartersville, but you can't. That's Bartow County. It's right next to Cobb County. You, so Cobb County and Cherokee County, emissions test, but not Bartow County. I mean, in Cartersville, from, God, whatever that city is. I mean, it can't be but 20 miles. And so it just, you know, stuff like that don't occur. But you cannot sell these cars to people when they tell you they're coming out of 13 counties without telling these people that these cars aren't emissions tested. This is foreseeable that it will be a problem. And I suspect, I really suspect that this, is, this has been a practice of theirs and it's never been a problem because the people, when they call them and tell them this, they're still in the state or in their county. And they'll just go get emissions tested. And, and then they'll tell them, because that's the tag tag and title lady told me that she'll just reimburse me for the emissions test. Right? But I, I took the car out of state. So, and that's the problem. So, you know, the way you're doing business is a problem. And, and I think it's entering into a contract under bad faith because uh, not having a car uh, uh, emissions tested for someone who lives in a county where the vehicles, it's material to the sale. I'm losing the language, but trust me, when I, if, I got, if I got to file the lawsuit, um, the language will be there. But it's a material fact because it affects the sale and it's entering into a contract in bad faith because you're, you're failing to disclose that the vehicle has not been emissions tested. And the vehicle could have failed emissions. And then that would have been a problem. So. No, I'm not 60. I'm not telling you what happened to Tammy. Tammy just, Tammy's no longer alive. What do I want to do with my life? What? Stop saying stupid stuff. Can I help you with your GoPro 9? There's a reset button on there somewhere. Uh, oh, you want to be able to download it. Say, Victor, man, clear my doorway because you can't be here. Victor, Victor, like, listen, boy, I told you to clear my doorway because you can't be here. Victor, get your ass up out of here. Uh, I'm going to have to remove you from my doorway. Victor, you're really not paying attention. I don't know what the fuck's the matter with you, Victor. Pay attention with the fuck I'm telling you. Okay, get your ass up out my doorway. You're welcome, Victor. Are you going to have kids? Well, you know, strangely enough, there's a 28-year-old. I don't know what's going to happen with this 28-year-old. But she's talking about kids. And I'm like, hold up. I mean, in my mind, I'm like, kids? I was talking about maybe a kid. I don't know what the heck's going to go on with this 28-year-old. But, uh, I mean, she, she, went, she went from kid to kids. Like, whoa, whoa. Uh, honey, you know how old I am? <laughs> you know, maybe we could do one. <laughs> you know, but uh, we got other things going on. You send me money tomorrow? Uh, you know, so, somewhere I got a cash app. I don't ever list it, though. Where's my cash app? I don't even know what my cash app is. You want to send me some money. I mean, you just make sure it's me, though. I don't know how to do that, though. 
If you want to send me some things, I don't know. Where's my cash at? Oh. Yeah, my cash app, this is... Where is that? That's my cash app. Where is that? What the hell happened? Oh, y'all can't be looking at that. Stop looking at that. I mean, if y'all want to send me a few bucks, I could use a few bucks right now. But that's my cash app. Is that... That's clear. I think that's clear. It's, uh... The Money Sign GRSC Metro Mall. It's the Money Sign GRSC Metro Mall. And so maybe I'll just, you know, put a cash app up there. I mean, if y'all want to send me a few dollars, I can use a few dollars. I just spent nine grand on a car. <laughs> so. Am I looking for a friend? I don't know. Didn't I just tell you about the 28-year-old? You just sent me $300. You ain't sent me no $300, fool. Oh, <laughs> uh, I ain't been, yeah, I'm working. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That, that's the, I, I'm not a, a, I ain't make no, I made $50 today. That's all I did today. I made, that's, that's my wife. Man, if you don't shut up. Oh, she choosing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wonder what happened to Dino TV on, on uh, Instagram. They probably shut that down. Um, the Metro Mall is closed, sir. I'm a secure courier. How reliable are the many? I, I mean, I don't really have any problem with them, but you just got to make sure that you maintain them. This is my first turbo. It said Tanner was on fire. I put the fire out. I put the fire out. I mean, even if Marcus Purnell was on fire, I put the fire out. I mean, I'm not going to stand there and let any of these people burn to death. Now, I'm not going to tell you that I'm very fond of them, but, you know, that's not how we move. I'm not going to let them die. Not like that. Why would I do that? That's not how you move. That's not how you treat people. Don't do that. The Metro Mall is closed, Mr. Easley. I got more videos to play. Oh, uh, what do you mean if you spend nine grand on the car, you don't need money? Don't, don't be foolish. I don't know why people think, like, like I tell people, you can make $100,000 a year. Uh, you're not impoverished. But you ain't rich. This is America. <laughs> you just, you just kind of living. And I, I remember Anton Daniels saying, the person who makes $100,000 a year is living similarly to the person making $80,000 a year. You know, you're just living life. I mean, you could do some things, but by no means are you rich. Because <laughs> that's that's foolish. That, that ain't even, even remotely true. But the person that sent me $7.12, man, I appreciate the seven twelve, man. Why don't you? Because Amazon delivery drivers do not make a dollar. Man, them people don't make any money. What happened to who? Watch this all. I don't even know what you're talking about. What is a secure carrier? Um, I deliver items. Some some of the items that I need to deliver need to remain secure. If somebody decided that they wanted to take them, then, you know, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Not everything I, I, I deliver needs to be secure like that. But some things do. And you want to try to take it. And I'm going to have to protest. And what will happen will happen. I mean, that's all. Some of the items. I mean, yeah, some of the items, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, I ain't giving you no details. And really, it's all commercial stuff anyway. Like, it really has no consumer uh, consumer uses. All that secure, the secure stuff that I take has absolutely no consumer use, you know. And it's not like you could steal it from me and sell it to another business. Because uh, they wouldn't buy it from you. 
but some things need to remain secure. So, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know what happened to Fred Smith. Uh, yes, Tan Tanisha's a lot smaller than what she used to be. No, not like Brinks. Brinks is an armored. My vehicles aren't armored. Uh, no, kind of for works at an orthodontist, something I could probably use. Uh, but she works, I do believe she works for an orthodontist. So I don't know, I don't think she's for the streets. I never thought she was for the streets. So this is, all you clowns think she was for the streets. To me, she was like Saturn. I mean, well, he could be rapping. I mean, he, he made some records. He made some albums, actually. I don't know what he's doing now. You and Tanisha are getting married next year. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I don't think she was ever mad at me about that. I mean, it's not like that was my responsibility. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, maybe a little now, you know, considering what was going on, the second raid, not the first raid, but, you know, but, you know, none of those people got convicted. Tanisha, Frank, no one who got arrested for that second raid, to my understanding, actually got convicted of, a, of anything. All the charges were dropped. So, hey. What's this? Yeah, I still own a gun. How are you going to be a secure carrier without a gun? I don't know. You should read a book or something. Or pay attention to something. Listen to people who are smarter than you, have different information than you, come from a different background, can add to your perspective. People, who, If you hang around a bunch of people who ain't doing nothing, they can't tell you nothing. They can't make you better. Why are you hanging around them people? They don't know shit. You know, I told somebody yesterday about something that can make them some more money that I probably need to follow up on myself. Well, I will. Not probably. I will. And they told me about traveling CNAs that make $75 an hour. Uh, all depending on where they're going. I'm like, what? They do, they're doing what? A certified nursing assistant traveling around the country. They're paying this person $75 an hour, plus they're paying for the lodging and, and giving them a, a, I don't think stipend is the right word, but we'll just call it stipend. $50 a day for, uh, for meals? What? <laughs> Do I need to become a certified CNA? Unfortunately, I still listen to too much rap music. I don't act tough. You know, like I said, like I said earlier, you know, you come from certain environments. Aggression and confrontation, aggression is how you survive those environments. You can't be ever in those environments be perceived as weak. And people are trying you and testing you and every day. I mean, your life will be so unbearable. So, and then, but once you once you leave those environments, you you can't really take that with you. But you grew up in those environments, and it really does become a part of you. So, so but you what, what took you what what it took for you to get to the to the new environment won't serve you in the new environment. You will have to let that go and become something else, and you know, you know. Something I learned from Vlad. Uh, I didn't kick him out the mall for staring. Oh, oh. He wasn't staring at me. He was following me around the mall. And considering what was going on at the time and all the threats that I had received, I can't have someone following me around the mall. It's kind of dangerous to me. So, you know, one of the philosophies is, and I got this from my cousin, you know, she's talking about, you know, like, 
you know, pastors are preaching to teach you to deal with your problems instead of teaching you uh, to get rid of your problems and changing your problems. So one of the things she said, you know, we're talking about anger management. You know, they got these anger management courses and they teach you how to ma manage your anger. But she felt like if, if there's no anger there, there's nothing to, to manage. And I've said on several occasions, that's how I felt about the drug dealers in the mall. If they're not in the mall, then I don't have to watch them all the time and I don't have to manage that. They're just outside the mall. So I used whatever tactics that I thought were legally uh, passable to kick them out the mall. I see you deal drugs down the street, can't come into the mall. I see you smoke weed down the street, nope, can't come into the mall. You ain't going to tell me that I have to let someone who's doing something illegal in the mall, if you think so, file your lawsuit. Uh, I'll tell, the, I'll tell the, 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 the mall management company, don't even worry about it. Uh, I'll write the motion to dismiss because they're not going to win. So, Well, there may be nothing wrong with smoking weed, but at the time you wasn't coming in the mall because you were smoking weed and you were out there selling drugs. And so I, I can't watch, you know, every dude or dude who I suspect or I knew was selling drugs so they don't make a sale in the mall. That's too much work. So just kick them out the mall and then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to manage a problem that's not there. What don't you understand about that? Why are you people so stupid? Okay. Weed is from the earth. Weed is good. Open your eyes. I didn't make fun of anybody. Why would I talk to his mama? And I thought about talking to his mama until he was disrespectful. And then, and then like, I ain't talking to your mama. Now you're being disrespectful. Well, send your text, you give me some money. <laughs> if you want to do anything, you know, just, you know, send me a few dollars, send me five dollars. Five dollars would be fine. I'd be good with that. Somewhere in there, just like five dollars, YouTube's going to take a part of it. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to put up some more videos, but, you know, I made this to to get that thing off my chest about, you know, this, this car buying experience and like it's just horrible and I'm just not going to put the name on it although maybe I should I'm just not going to but it's definitely a dealership in Macon, Georgia for sure for sure all right so I, I'm only going to do this for, for, for so long because I'm, I'm, I don't have the phone plugged in so start to ask your questions, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep my eyes open while I'm talking to you so I can read this crap. All this stuff that you're writing. In one video, you told Fred you were homeless like three times in Atlanta. Talk about that. So when I came, when I first came to Atlanta, uh, I didn't have a place to stay. I was sleeping in my car. I got relatives living in Atlanta, but I'm not trying to stay with them. Eventually, I stayed with one. But then they kicked me out their house. Uh, so there was that. Then I got arrested because when I, when I came to Atlanta, my car insurance was like $410 a month in the 90s. <laughs> and, uh, and I couldn't afford it. And so I went to DeKalb County for... There was a, a MARTA police officer who told me and we he, we knew we knew the family. He told me not to go to court because they they would go ahead and lock me up, so I didn't go to court. And then I got caught by the Clarkston police, and they locked me up. And my people had told me, "Hey, man, we told you not to speed, so yeah, have a seat, sit down." And so I sat down, and then uh, you know I stayed with I stayed with my cousins. For about a month, he made me sign a contract, him and his wife. And then, uh, you know, nothing was popping. You know, they came and repossessed the car. And he said he would hate to see me uh, go home before I even tried. So I moved into a, 
It's like a halfway shelter. And actually, they turned that school because it was on uh, it was over there by the by what used to be Atlanta Braves Stadium. You know, I think they turned it into Hilltop Condos or some crap. Um, and I stayed there, and I, and then so that was the second time, and then uh, the third time. I had to choose between, you know, paying my rent and living in a car. And all the women wanted me to pay the rent. But I'm like, I need the car to get a job. I need to, could I have a pickup truck? So I need the pickup truck to get a job. And so I chose to move into the pickup truck. And, you know, I had stuff in storage. And so I would, um, I would keep my clothes and my, and my motorcycle all that crap was in storage. You know, the whole apartment that I had was in storage and I would just, you know, go there and change clothes. It was funny because I had a 50 inch plasma TV and I used to prop it up against the cap of the truck and I had this gaming chair and I still had AT&T uh, cell phone and then I had a, a wireless card that was sticking to the computer and I would sit there and watch Netflix in the middle of the parking lot on my 50-inch plasma TV, homeless. It was, it was kind of a surreal thing. I mean, like that kind of crazy stuff. But I was better off homeless than people who actually had apartment because I had vehicle and I had internet service and I had a cell phone and I had a permanent address, even though I didn't live there. But <laughs> uh, And there was people who didn't have, they had a phone, but they didn't have internet service they didn't have a vehicle. And so I was, because I can, I can work anywhere that the vehicle can get me to, and they could only work places where Marta could go. So I was good, man. I was good. I did well. I did well. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I eventually got out of that hole. So there you go. You know, so you can be homeless. With a vehicle, it, it, it's different when you're homeless without one. So you don't ever want to be home because I ended up totaling that vehicle, and then all I had was the bike, and so I had to move in some place like a. They call it pad split, like like you know they rent out a bunch of rooms like a rooming house. But I knew the dude that worked there, and, and I mean who ran the house. I already knew that dude and. He wasn't worried about certain things when it came to me because he said, I know you're going to go to work. I know you're going to do this and I know you're going to do that, which is which is true enough. Right. So but um, and then and then like a month later, I totaled the bike and had a fused ankle and all the rest of this kind of crap. And, you know, I moved in with one of my relatives and my father was giving them some money. And then when I got my money, I brought that relative a couch. Nice. I think that couch cost like a thousand dollars or something. And, uh, you know, as a, as a thank you for like, you know, let me stay here while I recover. So, you know, you got to treat people right. Uh, so there's that. You mean the boost where the Smith brothers work? Okay, well, that's why you mad, bro. Darren, that's why, damn, that's wild. Okay, yeah, I always wondered that, that. Shop seem empty. I have a transit connect. Any gigs you might have? No, and I don't even know where you live. Did that rock trade generally hated you? I don't think he generally hated me. I don't think he was fond of me at the time, for sure. But I don't think he generally hated me. He just wasn't fond of you know how I how I moved. What did the Smith brothers actually do at the mall? So. I don't know what the hell Terry did, to be honest with you. I mean, I think Fred was just, you know, selling cell phones and gambling and uh, selling stuff, you know. Because Jeff, the guy with the glasses, he was, he was actually the moneymaker. He was actually the dude in charge, if you want to call him in charge. But he was actually the moneymaker. You know, they would sell stuff, you know, questionable procurement. And uh, 
You know, I guess they got a percentage of the sale. You know, not everybody there was broke, man. I mean, some people there was making some money. Uh, kind of recently found out, like, he was making what kind of money? He was doing what, huh? Really? Oh. <laughs> okay. God damn. Yeah, some people, they was making a buck. You know, Stallone's not making a movie on me. Who died from the mall? Okay. Uh, so there's a movie. There's a, there's a Tanisha. I can't remember that guy's name. Uh, but that guy's dead. Uh, Terry Bloodsaw's dead. Uh, there was a fight. Uh, see, I can't remember these people's names anymore. Uh, there was a fight. That guy's dead. So I'm just kind of, so we just call him three people. So Tammy's dead. Terry Bloodsaw's dead. Juicy's dead. Um, that dude's dead. He, he called himself Dominic, but it, it was spelled Danica. He's dead. Uh, I think, but, hold on, okay, let me see. Women, the women that I know are dead are Terry, I mean, Juicy and Tammy. So, okay, then there's Terry Bloodsaw, there's Barry, and there's, there's, there's that gay guy, Alex, I think his name was. So was that, like five people? Okay, at least five people that I know. Oh, and and and, and Demetrius, um, not good when they called him Meat. Uh, he's dead. So that's like, so I know six people that that have died, and then there's numerous people that have gone to prison and gotten out, and maybe gone back. Uh, And then, you know, some people doing, I mean, some people just working. So, yeah. I don't know what happened to Napoleon Smith. I can't tell you. Uh, what happened to Juicy? Juicy was, got arrested and she started shooting at the police from the back of the police car. Somehow she got out of her cuff and they didn't do a real good job of searching her maybe because she was a woman they couldn't search her in certain places but anyway she started shooting at the police from from the back of the police car and uh, it didn't work out well for her unfortunately so terry bloodsaw died uh not by the death uh a couple of people were murdered. <laughs> a few people were murdered. No, I don't know if Steve died. No, Fred Smith is not dead. No, the mall's not open now. Somebody said they seen Bobby Cummings the last time I did a live. And no one's telling me that he's 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 dead. Am I still looking for a wife? Well, there's a 28-year-old. I keep mentioning. <laughs> so we'll see what we're going to do with the 28-year-old. What happened to Louise? Who's, who's Louise? Of course I washed my back. Um... I don't know if Red's alive. I mean, I assume. I mean, people keep telling me he's dead, but I can't, you know, I got no one who can confirm that. No one's confirming that. Do I miss Detroit? No. No. Oh, I'm not telling you what Kyra has. I mean, like, some people are doing some things. Like, you know, apparently my information's on the black web and somebody's trying to Steal my identity, and y'all trying to ask questions and trying to figure out some things. I don't know who y'all. I ain't give you that information. 
So, you know. But the minis are nice. The minis are nice. I live in Metro Atlanta. That's where I live. Black web, dark web, whatever. Get off, get off my ass, right? Little rainbow punisher. No, I'm not going back to private security. There's no money in it. You know, you you know, you go to work to make money. Uh, I don't. I've never known Jay to deal drugs, and I've never known known him to want to deal drugs. So. You know, um, I can't confirm whether Marcus Tolbert is Kivert or not. I mean, I'm sure he's not the only Marcus Tolbert in the United States of America. So, I don't know where Rick's at. Why would I? I'm not. I, I don't know where Tom and Nick is at. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, I got an Instagram page, you know, sometimes I put stuff on there, but I don't really do like, I know I'm supposed to be like a professional YouTuber, but I don't really do it like that. I'm going to put up like some more videos. I need to like since I ain't making any money, which I should have been doing, was sitting down going through video so I can put it up on YouTube so y'all can get a better perspective. Um, but sometimes I watch YouTube and, it, you know, I got a social media addiction, I think. Chester, I don't know what happened to Chester. I don't know what happened to any of these people. Mm, William Wright. The last thing I heard of William Wright is he got a job as a, a garbage guy with the Cab County. I don't know if it's true or not, though. <laughs> yeah, charge it to the game. I mean, like he sold her spot, man. I mean, it was, you know, but Mama was, you know, she was she was on some some lecture sometimes. I wasn't there long enough. So, uh, I got stuff from Pontiac. No, I don't like the Migos. Uh, not at all. Um, I only asked because you made it and I wanted you to send it to you or you could search it on YouTube. Huh. That's interesting. But you always like William Wright? Why in the hell would you like William Wright? I don't know how Kennifer's doing. I can't tell you. They should stop doing hood vlogs. That's how, that's what it is. That's, that's no good for you. No, Metro Mall's not alive. You like West Side Gun? What is that? Who's that? What's that? No, me and Fred don't do any business. Uh, that's not a chiropractor. Uh, looks like she works for an orthodontist. What about uh, with Steve? I don't know what happened to these people. I don't. I don't go looking for them. Do you have a favorite video? No. I listen to Charleston White. Yeah, I do. Some of the things he says is correct. Well, I mean, like, dude, I mean, you're not, I mean, I'm 50 years old. You're making records. You're not making records for 50 year olds, so 55 year olds. Uh, you're making records for like 20-somethings. And so those are the people that you should really, you know, what do they think about what you're making? I'm 55. Who's a rapper from Buffalo? The liquor store burnt down, so I don't, I don't think you could stay there if it's not there. Uh... 
when I saw people in, in, in the hood vlog with people downtown, I'm just like, you know, I'm like, what are you doing there? It's been like, I don't know, eight, nine years. Why are you still in this environment? You haven't grown beyond this environment? Do I feel old? I don't think you ever feel old when you are old. Uh, but the young people will let you know that you are old. Who do you listen to? You know, if you're talking about somebody who's kind of putting stuff out now, I mean, like, Snow the Product. Uh, what did I buy recently? I brought a bunch of stuff, some of it new, some of it old. Uh, I brought Connor Price and Benz. I heard it on Instagram, spinning. I brought Youngin' by Fabulous, The Ghetto by Dove, um, The Kenny Red Show by Freeze Is It, Donuts by Jay Dilla, Something by Slum Village, my Bag by Payroll Giovanni. Uh, I apologize. Teach Me How to Dougie. Um, Billie Eilish. Uh, Umi Says by Most Def. Mano is the Future. Kendrick Lamar. Free Game by KT Foreign. FNF Let's Go by Glow Rilla, which is really a terrible song. I mean, all the... All the all the remakes are better. FNF, Let's Go by Trap Boy Quez. Uh, Short Change Hero because of that thing that comes on Netflix. Uh, the Heavy Crystallize. Uh, Coast Contra. Coast Contra. Them boys are the truth. Uh, Legacy and uh, Air Force One, AF1s, but the Legacy is the best record. Zoom by Jesse, which is just some Korean pop. Uh, Queso by Pell, and then you know the Beat Nuts and Walkthrough, and you know some music tracks from Sim City, Sorry Not Sorry, Weird Flex, and you know all kinds of stuff. Yeah, all you gotta do is win, man. Really, Korean pop. Yeah, like uh, uh. Hello, bitches. By uh, let me see. Uh, I listen to that song when it comes on. I probably listen to it too many damn times in a row. Uh, Hello, bitches. By CL. Um, uh, this chick right here. It's an old Korean pop song. Uh, and then there's a uh, there's some guy who made a song. I listen to some white rappers too. Um, the Hell of It by Tom McDonald. That's a good record. Um, I mean, there's some good stuff out there. Um, there's some other Korean pop song, man, uh, that is really. Really, really good. I got Painted Black by the Beatles. Tomorrow Never Knows. Um, Painted Black by the Rolling Stones. Tomorrow Never Knows by the Beatles. I got some Miles Davis. Sorry, not sorry. I'm a, I'm a pop. Uh, um, Return of the Trez by Delinquent Habits. This is a pretty good record. Return of the Trez. Um, because you're asking, so I'm just going to tell you. Um, uh, Queso by Pell. This guy right here. That's an excellent record. Um, Zoom by Jesse. Uh, I don't know. This Korean pop. Yeah, I see you looking at my P I C. Did the dang, the dang, the diggy, dang, the dang. Yeah, is that Zoom? Is that that record? Whatever, man. So okay. 
to leak what happens West Coast. It's a good record, man. What can I tell you? It's a good record. So, I mean, you asked, I told you. What was my first job? Uh, I think working in some restaurant. Probably doing dishes or some shit. Oh, no. No, I was delivering newspapers. Yeah, I was still in high school. Yeah, I was delivering newspapers. All right, what do you want to know? Uh, be strong, my man. All right, there you go. See you later. Talk about something useful. What would you like to know? I mean, I'm just answering people's questions. You know, ask me a question and maybe I can give you an answer. Where the hell's that dog? <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened to Marcus Purnell. Everybody asks me what happens to these people. I don't know what happened to these people. Painted Black by Edward Burton in War. I got the Rolling Stones. Uh, I carry a gun all the time, Mr. Taylor, so I don't know what you I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, you people like really talk shit. I mean y'all y'all really just need to stop. <laughs> we should do a versus on Peace Street. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean it's an ideal. Yeah, Korean pop, man. I mean, you know. I mean, CL, I mean, hello, bitches. I like the record, man. I mean, I brought the record. I like the record. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. Uh, but, but he actually ended up going back to that house that night, to be honest with you. Yeah, Kenny Red. Yeah, I mean, I brought that record. I mean... Like, some of these records that I brought were made by, like, uh, pimps or ex-pimps. I mean, really. Um, some of these records, Freeze is it. That's, a, I mean, that's a legitimately a good record. Uh, I don't know Kennifer to drink Hennessy, so, uh, that's, that's, you know, that you telling me that tells me you don't even fucking know her. I don't even know why y'all say shit like uh, who's a rapper from Buffalo? No, you can't repost. What do you want to repost my videos for? No, you can't repost my videos. All right. Where we at with this? Because I don't know when this battery is. Somebody gave me $2. All right, then. Woo! $2. I appreciate the two. I got. I got. I brought a. I gotta get my hair cut, man. I should have shaved today, but I wasn't doing nothing. I made like fifty bucks, man. Red or blue? I don't. I don't get the question. When you talking about blood or crip? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, put the guns down and box like a man. Shit, this is a confrontation, not a competition. <laughs> you brought your hands to a gunfight. Well, that was kind of stupid. Don't don't make those kind of mistakes. No, I don't listen to E-40. Ooh, have I slept with any of the women from Metro Mall? Ooh, I cannot tell you. <laughs> I will not tell you. I'm 55. I'm a coward, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah, I am re-uploading, but I'm, I'm re-uploading with stuff that surrounds those videos if I got it. Uh, how about Five Guys and not McDonald's or Burger King? I mean, you could go to McDonald's for like the breakfast, but then after that, you know, you want to go to some place like Five Guys, which is really, you know, they hit in your pockets pretty good. You playing around with five guys. <laughs> God, dog, man. Five guys, they ain't no joke. Uh, some of these gourmet hamburger places, like there's one off of Church Street in the cab. Church Street in Decatur. I'm like, ugh. I like I think that burger costs like twenty two, twenty three dollars. I'm like, God damn, it's just a burger. The fuck y'all doing? <laughs> so But I paid it and it was good. Uh 
but I'm not gonna pay it again. Uh, things like Jets Pizza uh, is good. Uh, 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 Giordano's is good. Uh, Buddy's Pizza is good. Uh, you know. No, I don't think I'm a cop. Five Guys more expensive. Uh, oh, somebody gave me $3. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you better back it up. Yeah, yeah back up all that rhetoric with a few dollars because I just spent nine grand. So I need to get that money back and I only made $50 today. God, dog, man. That's all I made today was $50. <laughs> just, just, just one little half a run around the block. I ain't really going nowhere. And it cost me $50 and I'm fighting the dealership. Over two hundred dollars and two hundred and twenty dollars, and they just yeah yeah they all kinds of stupid. And you know buying that car really, I could have waited, but I've been looking for a car for a long time, and I didn't want to spend twelve thousand. You know I put sixty thousand miles on the car in seven months. I don't want to spend twelve thousand, and then like five thousand on top of that to get it ready. I mean that's like seventeen thousand dollars and you know I'm gonna burn it up in a year. You know? I'm broke, man. Send me some money. <laughs> no, I won't do Patreon. I'm gonna put none of this stuff on Patreon. It's not about that. Uh no. I don't know who it was. Uh, I live in Atlanta, but I ain't spending most of my time I spent someplace else. And that's, a, you know, that's a problem. But this is where I'm making the money. Michael Cerrone, man. Good looking on the five, man. My broke ass. Well, I don't know. No, I won't make more money doing content on YouTube. I, you know, uh, you know, I could take a chance and maybe if I can develop an audience, but the audience is not for me personally. The audience is for the nonsense on the channel. It's not for me personally. Uh, and then I would have to really work hard to, you know, to develop something because I'm not going to have a bunch of guests. You know, Maybe I get that 28 year old to, to make, to, you know, make videos. The 28 year old, uh, where's that phone? The 28 year old is kind of hot. I mean, she took a picture. She sent me some pictures today. And, uh, she kind of all right, man. I was like, wow. I was like, she kind of all right. I mean, like, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, good night, man. See you later. Uh, gone. <sighs> no, you, you, I, I don't want to, I don't want to work in the medical field. I mean, I was talking about traveling CNA, but I'm not really going to do that. You have to be a cashier at Walgreens. I don't know. What state do you live in, dog? Uh, you don't have to be anything. Could be a medical courier. Uh, no, I mean, what was that? I didn't doubt myself. I mean, I read too much. I knew too much. Can you pay me to do a review of your music? Man, I, I, you know, I used to be on radio, man, but I don't know if, why is YouTube sending me a public policy updates for YouTube? That's kind of an odd thing to get right now. You live in Maryland. You don't live in Baltimore, do you? Good grief. Of course I'm working. All right.
right? You know, I, I go back St. Mary's. What St. St. Mary's? Where the hell is St. Mary's? How old are you, dog? Where the hell is St. Mary's? St. Mary's, Maryland? Oh, that's a place. For real. Oh, okay. No, I've never had that. No, I've never been on that part of Maryland. I mean, you trying to be a manager? Not you. I know what happened to Deborah. Like, y'all keep asking me what happened to these people. I mean, like, I mean, y'all, you all got their names, man. Y'all can, y'all can, uh, look them up if that's what y'all want to do. Yeah, you're going to try to rob me blind, so you're going to rob me of something that's commercial grade. Right, that needs to remain secure, but you're not going to be able to convert it into cash at all. I promise you that. You're not going to be able to convert it into cash at all. <laughs> I, I promise you that. There's no way in the world you convert it to cash. Not the secure stuff that I carry. All the other stuff, psh, you're not going to get much money for it. No, there's no moderators here. I don't like. Listen, this is the most raw kind of thing that you you ever dealt with. Like, like I'm in my comment section. I do these live videos. You're, you're actually just dealing with me. There's, there's no one else you're going to deal with on my channel except me. And that's the beautiful thing about dealing with me. That you, you, when I go to his channel, I listen to him. I, you know, he's in the comment section. I know that's Darren. There's nobody else. No, I don't need a moderator. I don't need an editor. I don't I don't need any of that. I mean, I got like 79 people. At the most I had was like 100. What do I need a moderator for 79 people for? Like, I just made this video to air something off. I don't make these videos. Uh, and, and like I used to, I just do a live and then, you know, then I answer some questions and, you know, I'll be done with it. Yes, I'm, I mean, after I get off of this, man, I'm going to go plug in the hard drive and I'm going to start going through some videos and and then I'm going to upload some stuff. Because, you know, I made $50 today. And after I upload these videos to make money in particular, because I can look at the numbers and my channel don't make as much money as some people think. Um, but it can take care of some things. So... All right then, Michael Sarone. You're a big fan? Okay. You should be a fan of me. Well, who's Erica? What the fuck are you talking about? Pickle me. What the hell? What is she talking about? Who's this woman? But this person. I don't even know who that is. On the, you know, you could be <laughs> you could be anybody you want to be on the internet. GRC unreleased. Well, you know, some of the incidents you will have seen, but then there's other stuff that you wouldn't have seen because it didn't make sense to post it by itself. But in context of this, that's why I like the videos be like 16, 30 minutes long. Some, some of them are 40 minutes long. I mean, if you really want to learn stuff and really learn about that environment at the time and not just watch incidents, which will teach you some stuff, but not, not, not the whole... Run for president. Stop saying silly stuff. You need some folks using my bids on YouTube. Using them for what? Stuff to, stuff not to do? That's what I've been told. No, that wasn't Kennifer at all. No. No, I don't keep in touch with Rick's. Rick. Rick. 
No, no, Kennifer's not going to be in my comment section, Chief. <laughs> Kennifer is not going to be in my comment section. Not at all. She's doing other things. And God bless Kennifer. You know, she seems, she seems like she's in a better place. You know, Kennifer's in a better place. And a couple of other people I know are in a better place. And then some people just doing the same stupid stuff. And then, you know, 4% of people in the land are born into poverty will get out of poverty. Everybody else will be impoverished pretty much for the rest of their life, which is a tragedy. That what, what hurt me saying that she's, she's good? Why would that hurt me? Like... I like Jennifer. I would want her to be happy. Why would I not want her to be happy? No, I don't have any regrets from the mall. None. Zero. I mean, no regrets. I mean, no, no regrets. I mean, because without the Metro Mall, I wouldn't be in the position that I am in now. I agree with you. Sometimes it is a mentality that keeps you there. So you got to put yourself in a room with different people to help change your mentality. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right like that's that's serious. <laughs> Take care of the lunch with some rooms money. <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. Bothering the Smith family? I didn't bother the Smith family. I mean, Fred was doing stupid stuff. And then, you know, they were just being who they were, man, uh, at the time. And, um, nah. Nah, I mean, they, you know, they just, they just hadn't, hadn't met anybody like me. Like, I hadn't been in an environment quite like that. Yeah, I wasn't uncomfortable. So, I should tell you something right there. Uh, probably, the Metro Mall probably shut down because it wasn't making any money. Yeah, it was a flea market. What do you think it was? No, probably not. I would. I mean, I'm not. Like, I'm 55 years old. And it, I keep telling you people. Uh, because it's part of history. Like, listen, just because something didn't work out doesn't mean that you tried to erase them. I, I had a friend who dated somebody and she kind of cheated on him and he went out and threw out all her pictures. And I'm like, why you do all that? This was in the 90s. Like, why you do all that? You know, 10 years later, 15 years later, how many, many years later, you know, he kind of wish he had some of them pictures, you know, because it was a part of his life, it was part of his history. It's not that he pines over her, because I don't even think he really likes her that much, but it was a part of his history. Uh, and, he, and by the way, he doesn't like her that much, not because he's not forgiving, it's just behind some of the things that happened since they broke up. Um... You know, so, um, cause I'm not going to tell all this business, but, uh, no, nah, man, I, I don't get rid of pictures because it, it just didn't work out. I like, I like the woman. I wanted to be with the woman. I'm not with the woman. I like the woman. It's not going to happen, but that don't mean I throw out her pictures. You know, she's a part of history like this channel. Some people want, some people don't want to be on this channel and I won't take those videos down because they're part of history. It's a part of history. And, and, and I spoke to someone recently who said they get to go back and watch those videos and see how they were acting and it's actually uh, inspired them to change who they were. And I was like, wow, I didn't know that. It, that person told me that these videos so they could see that and, and you know, it kind of inspired them to change who they were. So they can conduct themselves differently. And so more power to that person. 
if these videos uh, really did the intended thing, which would get people to change, get people to leave the area, and people to change. So I was successful at least with one person, so power, power to that. That's good. I'm happy about that. Okay. What happened to the Ethiopian sister? You're talking about Samara? I think she went back to Oregon. Why would you ask me about Who hasn't been to Cobb County? I don't know. The whole channel's the past. So you keep asking about it, so I keep, you know, answering. I didn't dislike any of them. The one who gave me the most problems initially was Fred, and then it was Terry. But dislike? No, I didn't dislike any of them. They were just problematic at times. Now, there are some people I did dislike, and but, you know, they were just problematic. If you stop asking me about the past, I'll stop talking to you about the past. Uh, motherfucker, you don't even know me. All oh, this shit you talking about. Well, I wasn't really fond of Santana because of what he did. I wasn't really fond of... Uh, yeah, Santana. I really didn't didn't like Santana because the way he was getting down and then uh, Mr. Mitchell they thought they was gonna do some things. Yaya was a pain in the ass, but I didn't I didn't even dislike her. Just like, you know, go the fuck away. Jesus Christ. Um yeah. I you know, I, I you know, just and and, and and not Marcus Tolbert, but Marcus Purnell. Marcus Pinnell, okay. I'm not happy that she lost. I think she should have had a chance. But she didn't get it. And so, I didn't hate Bobby. Bobby was just a pain in the freaking behind. It's like, he was just, ugh. Like, would you just go away? Yes, I've been to Houston. Sir, I've been to Houston. Do you consider Cobb County as Atlanta? Yes, it's part of Metro Atlanta, man. What do you mean do you consider? I mean, how do you have Atlanta without Cobb County? Like having Atlanta without the Cab County. Uh, what else touches what else touches Fulton County? Douglas County. Henry County. Carrollton County. Uh, I thought it's 13 counties. But you don't you Cobb County, Marietta, you crazy? No, no one brought me off, but you know, you got that one video where I took that guy's money and me and Denoris Eccles, you know, split that 20. Uh, like he made me feel corrupt from taking that money. And I, I, I didn't want to take that money, but he, <laughs> the noise was gonna take it, so anyway, and I couldn't stop him from taking it, so I needed to get I need to get a cut. I mean it's just it's so bad, man. Like a like some kind of moral failure on my behalf. Um Yeah, I'm a redder. That's a good looking chick, man. <laughs> That's a good looking woman, I'm a redder. Uh, 
probably Fred. Initially, Fred was the most problematic. Now, Terry would be the most aggravating. Yeah, I've been on Franklin Road. What do you mean, have I heard it? Like, listen, dude, you know, I'm not one of those people who hasn't been around Atlanta. I'm not even one of those people who hasn't been around the state of Georgia. I've been to more places in Georgia than probably some people who actually live in Georgia for all their life. <laughs> so I've been to Darien, Georgia, and small towns in South Georgia. I've been up the the mountains in North Georgia and all kinds of stupid stuff. Trump long? Yeah. <laughs> no. Who's a sex offender? Actually, yes. Yes, I mean, some some old 90s singers and some people wanted me to do, uh, um, wanted me to do some bodyguard work. And I told them I wasn't qualified. So, yeah, the answer to that is yes, actually. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which singing groups because I can't even remember. He's a sex, who's a sex offender? Hey, we don't get the fuck out of here with that stupid shit. Where we at? No, I don't pursue Kennifer. Uh, the Trump candidates, all of them lost. <laughs> That's how well they did. They all lost. You got 20 on who's head. What do you think about Franklin? Dude, I never hung out there, so I can't really tell you. You know, I've been on it. I'm, you know, I'm not hanging out on Franklin Road, so I can't really tell you. Anthony wasn't really a problem. I mean, he came through the door talking a bunch of shit like I was some bitch nigga from around the way, but you know. And he may have still never had that kind of respect for me, but you know. He discovered that I wasn't a bitch nigga. And I stood on everything that I said. And I would do what I said I would do. That's all you really needed to know. You know? I wasn't really out to hurt nobody, but then again, you know, yeah, I'm doing stupid shit. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, and if you don't correct yourself, then I'm gonna fucking do it, and that's just the way it's gonna be. Okay, hold on. Damn. No, I'm not tired. I'm not saying that the other two did. I'm not saying any... In fact, that one goes... I'm just I can fuck out of here. Oh... Uh, I was concerned. I mean, I used to drive home with a gun in my hand. Like, if you really rolled up on me... Uh, no, but not starting on security company. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't have handled this security. They couldn't pay me enough to do it. Like I had one bodyguard tell me, uh, you know, wanted to bring me on this team. We actually had done one or two things together. Wanted to bring me on this team. Um, he said if he got clients to do things that, that he doesn't tell them to do, he says, like, if he tells his client, no, you can't go there, we're not going there, and his client says, no, we going there, he says that person is no longer his client. Like, he, he's, not, he's not doing that kind of stuff. So, so, Uh, I don't know. I mean, you, you just, you know, you only go through life once, baby. There's no reset. Uh, and I can't be where I'm at today without the Metro Mall. I didn't delete anything. You just have to, you just have to like, if there's a person whose name's in it that you know, just 
punch in GRSE and then put that person's name in it and it should come up. I don't know what happened to Tom and Nick. You know, the last time I saw Tom and Nick, he had on a, a Sonics uniform. I Sonics one of the worst. Like, how do you mess up a burger? Uh, Sonics figured out a way to mess up a hamburger. I just, you know, blows my mind. How you mess up a hamburger? Um, I don't think anybody has a dislike for me. I just don't think, you know, don't nobody really, nobody really care. I mean, it's, I mean, I interact with you. No, no, I ain't never hit the blunt with no, you know, I stopped smoking weed when I was 11. So, Sonics is terrible. Uh, who's Rob? No one ever pressed me on the way home. Do you watch Chris Hansen? No. 60 days in, why the hell do you want to see me in, in jail? Who the hell is Rob? Yeah, well, she tried to get it in. She did. She tried to beat me up. It didn't work out for her. How about that? You never smelled musty. You've never been in there. That Broad Street is going to kill nobody. You know, how they going to kill me? I don't even go down there. Like, I got no reason to go to downtown Atlanta, so I don't go. You know, why do I say stupid stuff in my comments? Why do you, I mean, really, why do I say stupid stuff? You know, I be trying to figure that out sometimes. Like, what's the point of saying all this stupid shit? Like, y'all ain't got nothing better to say? Y'all just going to troll, act stupid, say stupid stuff? I got four Mini Coopers. You mean we was locked up back in the day? Locked up where? Oh, I definitely run the dragon. I definitely run the dragon. For sure. I'm going to buy some Cup 2s next year. Right? And I'm going to put them on some 14 and a half pound OZs. So I got to make some money so I can get some money up. Because I'm talking about $4,000 worth of wheels and tires. But man, so I'm going to run down your Porsche 911. I'm going to run down your Porsche Cayman. I'm going to run down your N2 Competition. I'm going to run down the CA Corvette. I'm going to come get you. I'm just like, because I got the turbo now. I got a fused ankle, but I brought an automatic. So I got the paddle shifters. So I ain't got to switch gears. Like you know, I might miss a, miss a shift. And, you know, I got a stronger car. And I'm going to get at you. I'm just like, Arr! yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm going to use it for work primarily. But, you know, you know what I'm saying, man? So, Sanger, Sanger, Texas, you bring your ass on down to the dragon. 
next year. Maybe we set up a date to bring your ass down. And uh, I come hurt your feelings. You bring your weak ass car. Whatever it is you got. If it ain't all wheel drive. Or, you know, you can't get out them corners fast. You ain't got the right setup. You know, you can come, you can come taste some of this mini. Right? And a station wagon at that. Or beat your ass with a station wagon. <laughs> oh. Oh. I ain't seen a Porsche uh, Panamera out there. Uh, I don't think he lived next to me. I should dread my hair. I ain't dread my hair. Uh, Detroit's the, the areas that I worked in Detroit were more dangerous than the areas that I worked. Because I worked on Cleveland Ave. Uh, but it was a short time, like like a week or so, because, you know, problems with the money. I also worked at Bank Head Course, but once again, problem with the money. Uh, so I was there a short time. But but then I worked on Seven Mile. I worked in the red zone. Uh, I worked on Schoolcraft by Greenfield. And I mean, where I was working was no big deal. Uh but then, you know, the red zone, seven mile, and it's a grocery store. But they want, when they found out who I was, they wanted me, they, I don't think they wanted me there. Because some dude kind of, kind of hollered, you know, hollered at me, you know. Like he kind of, you know, made it known that he knew who I was on the, on the sneak tip. But, you know, uh, man, seven mile, I think Seven Mile and, 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 and Van and Van Dyke. And then there's a couple of apartment complexes, Seven Mile and then one at Eight Mile. And of course that Dollar Tree over there. And then um but I worked for him. Now he wouldn't put me in those towers in Inkster. He wasn't worried about me, he was worried about everybody else. Um yeah, so Detroit, between the land and Detroit, definitely Detroit had the most potential for uh, you know, people to really get at you, but you know, ain't no bitches on the set. You know, you know what it is. So, uh TG Fred doing good for himself. Okay, black alien feeling sad. I don't know, you better back it up. No, I've never been to the Coke Museum. You got a mini about 180 horsepower, okay. Okay, so you got like a turbo with 172. Oh no, you ain't seen me run against that pro motorcycle dude. I mean, I was rolling up against some things, man, but man, them, them, them dudes with them number plates on them bikes, man, they'll, they be getting it, like for real, like. You got a number plate on your bike, they getting it. I mean, like, they hitting 100 miles an hour in the straights and 90, and they do. I mean, much, you know, much respect to them, because if they make a mistake at the kind of speeds that they run on them bikes, uh, man, if they not dead, they so bang the fuck up. Like, it's just, ooh, because it's trees over here or the mountain all depending on which way you're going. If you're going the other direction, it's the trees over here and the mountain over here. So you're going to run into the mountain or you're going to fly off the mountain and hit a bunch of trees on the way down. Just good grief. You know, you can't think about that stuff while you're up there doing it. Uh, you just, just, you know, stay within your talent level and, you know, kind of push it a little harder, a little harder, a little harder, a little harder. You know, if, as long as I don't hear my, my tires protest, I'll keep pushing it higher. So I, I, I get some cup twos. I got to change the spring rates and the shocks. And because I need stiffer springs, 
the stiffer shocks and the more grip of cup twos because they don't sell minis with cup twos. So the mini's not set up for that kind of grip. And so uh, I'm trying to do a thing. No, I never worked at a Latin liquor store at Seven Mile. Oh, you got an F-150? Hey, man, I seen somebody run up there with a Fox body. And in the 90s, Trans Am. And, you know, until I missed the shift, I could keep up with him. But uh, you ain't supposed to be running up there with a solid rear axle uh, Ford Mustang. And I mean... I mean, I only had 122 horsepower, and so his solid rear, his his suspension setup was was hampering because when it straightened out, they could just move. Um, but I, I I really had to work to keep up with him. It was no little, and then when I missed the shift, it was just it was just a wrap. It was over. I mean, you got 122 horsepower. What the hell are you gonna do with 122 horsepower? Uh, how are you trying to get at me, Aisha Nicole? I'm talking about 70 years old. How old are you? Never mind. I talked to the 28 year old. Yeah, but you take that, you take that 454 up there and you don't have the right engine set up, you ain't doing nothing. That engine ain't gonna help you with so much. You better have a suspension, you better know how to turn the wheel. Not Terry Bloodsaw's dead. Not Terry Smith. Because I'm old, Miss Nicole. You left the land in 2010. Bankhead Court was really dangerous, big bro. Yeah, and I was watching with some bitch security, man. That means like one dude would do stuff. I was told he would do stuff, and then like when like the real dudes try to get at, you know. He would fall back. He wasn't. He wasn't about it. I mean, he was just some old punk. I don't like. You can't work with punks. But the money was wrong. I mean, like the company was wrong. And so, you know, <laughs> I'm only gonna let you get into my pocket so deep, and then I'm out. I'm out. I mean, I, I, you know, I ain't even gonna get into a fight with you about that stuff. You just can't get in my pocket. I can't go downtown, but I didn't go downtown before I started to work there. So what's the point of going downtown now? There is none. Pilot traction? Oh, God, Jesus, man. You need a limited slip. Who was shot? I don't know. I mean, you know, you got to have your haters. I mean, he in here like everybody else. He paid the bill like everybody else. Hi, hater. <laughs> you know. Everybody paid the bill to come in here. No, I'm not married. No, you never see me with a woman. But, I mean, are you around me all the time? Those pills kicking in? What are you talking about? So I was told Terry's blood saw die to non-violent death. So I, I don't know what you're talking about. Is the 28-year-old real? Yeah, actually, yeah, very much so. I mean, we just, you just, you know, I see what happens, man. I mean, I see what happens. There's some th other things going on. There's some things that I'm not telling you. But, yeah, the 28-year-old is it's very much real. Talking about, you know, babies. And I can't wait to make some babies. And, you know, I'm talking about I give her a kid. But babies. Well, honey, you know how old I am? What are we talking about here? Um... <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what happened to anybody. I keep asking that. I 
I didn't say Terry Smith. I said Terry Bloodsaw. Oh, uh, Terry, I don't know. If, no, Terry Smith is not to my understanding. He has not been shot. I keep going back. We almost done. I mean, the phone keep going. I mean, I'm not even having it plugged in, so the phone is keep. You know, I was gonna go to the phone die. Yeah, I'm a veteran. Um, I don't think it's hard to get a chick if you drive in a Mini Cooper. It all depends on what kind of woman you want. Trust me. I mean, when I got my first Mini Cooper in 2010, nah, man, women were looking at me a whole lot different, but that's 2010. <laughs> and so, uh, it's, that's 12 years ago. They're looking at me different, because Mini Cooper actually says, if you've ever looked at the price of one, uh, and they, they weren't many, in 2010, they did come out in 2002, but nobody really... Could tell the difference between the first gen and the second gen unless you really knew what you were looking at. Car doesn't say that you don't have any money because they're they're actually a Mini Cooper uh, is a premium compact car or subcompact car. I mean, they keep getting bigger, so you know. Um, they've always cost a little bit of money as compared to everything else. That was similar, so I mean, weren't necessarily inexpensive vehicles. I mean, when BMW comes to charge you, you know, for the repair, <laughs> you'll know it's not an inexpensive vehicle. That's all I can tell you. I don't know what's the best way to keep a woman interested in me. I have no clue, dog. You asking the wrong person. Mr. Lawrence, are you a veteran? Let me see. Red died. How would you know that? A liver failure was on 9-4-2019 on Broad Street. That would be horrible. That's true. Why would I check into chapter 31? Who's Johnny Jackson? And why are you talking about Nakia? Money? Oh, it's the best way to keep a woman. Money. Nah, man. You don't never leave with... You know you should never leave with your money. I don't... I, I never leave with a woman with my money. Not my money. No. No, I take it to a shop. You never leave with your money. I mean, because money comes and goes, and if the money is the most important thing, and the money's not there then she's gone. You got to be the most important thing. And if they don't understand that and they're looking for money, then, you know, they come to the wrong place. Like you got to, you got to deal with the person. You got to respect the person. You got to like the person. And then, you know, all the other things can really just fall in place. But if you're there for the money, if you're really trying to gold dig a little bit, you just... You come to the wrong person. Okay, so the phone is, is running out of power. I think 28 is incredibly young. But the 28-year-old is saying age ain't nothing but a number. And I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that's some nonsense. The 28-year-old saying that age ain't nothing but a number. That is not really, really true when you're talking about a 27-year difference. I mean, would you agree? I mean, we could talk about it. She wants the AARP. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Hmm, 28 is near the danger zone. It is. It is. Hold on. Hold on. 28 is close to 30. Okay, damn, Terry Smith. Terry Smith is not dead. Uh, I don't have any age. I mean, if I come across a woman with my non-social ass, uh, that I like it, I'm attracted to her. Yeah, I, I'll talk to her. Uh, but man, you can't, like, you can't gas me. You can't fool me. You just, you know. I'm not stupid out here. I don't know if she has an old spirit. I think, you know, there's, there's things that she knows and things that she doesn't know. Uh, you know, I'm just seeing what's up. I don't know. I didn't think I was, I would, I would even talk to the 28 year old, be honest with you, but you know. Who knows, man? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you know, I'll see what happens. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's particularly practical. Um. But we'll see. We'll see. Terry Bloodsaw, not Terry Smith. Terry Smith did not die in some drive-by shooting. What are you talking about? Come to the underground. What? Let's go. Terry Smith is not dead. I mean, I don't know where you get this kind of stuff from. How can you get my auto? What do you want my cars for? I use my cars to work. I can't have my cars. I do like skinny, light-skinned women. I really do. Quite a bit. I've only dated brown-skinned women. It's kind of strange for somebody who likes... You know, something, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm on welfare? <laughs> okay. Uh, I wouldn't say anything to her. I mean, it's, it's really, I mean, I mean, really, a 50-year-old would probably be, be better, probably be more compatible, but, you know. She's a 28 year old. She's 28. Like, she sent me some pictures today. I'm like, it's like, wow. <laughs> I was like, that's you for sure. <laughs> that's you for sure. That's what you look like for sure. And she's a nice looking 28 year old woman. That's all I can tell you. She's a nice looking 28 year old woman. You can't teach your old dogs new tricks, shit. I don't know what makes you think that. I don't know. No one's telling me Terry Smith is dead except some random people in... What is this, Johnny Jackson? 50 what? 28? What is this, this stuff? I don't, you know, I need words. I can't see that stuff. Uh, we already covered that snow the product and a whole bunch of other stuff. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh well, I like them. Listen, my, generally I like the women separate your brown, light, bright to almost, but not quite, and then dark as night. Black is just black is black is black is black. Who made a post? Like, listen, my understanding that Terry Smith is not dead. Is this thing not charging? I don't know. It should be charging. I plugged it in. All right.
Party, stop saying, you know, we gotta stop saying stupid stuff. Was it Ant? No, not to my understanding, Anthony is not gay. I'm not doing online dating sites. Hold on, I've been doing this for two hours. It's been a long time, man. I mean, you guys, I mean, I've answered questions. I've, I've given you stuff. I mean, because what I initially made this video for was, I don't know, I've probably done in 15 minutes. I know, but he's not. I was told that they had the wrong person. They were really describing somebody else. And I'm like, and I know who they were describing, but yeah, not my business to tell you. So I won't tell you. But it's, as far as I, as far as I know, Anthony is nowhere near gay. I don't know. My biggest super chat will be the one that you give me, uh, Chandler. <laughs> Patrons. No. Because I'm not going to do guests. I'm not looking for guests. I'm, you know, what, what are we going to talk about? You need guests. You know, I said maybe I get the 28-year-old at some point in time to sit down and make some videos. Who knows? it would be interesting. There you go, $50. That's what I'm talking about. So now I made $100 today. That's what I'm talking about. Now that, I appreciate. Good looking. I know my channel's been at least worth $50. <laughs> at least $50. I mean, y'all watch The Wire. Y'all love this channel. Solid. But then I appreciate the person who gave you $2 too. <laughs> So, uh, hours of entertainment. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it's worth at least 50 bucks. Heck yeah. You know what? I, 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 you know what? You, you on my channel talking all kinds of bullshit, Black Alien. Uh, why don't you go ahead and give me a dollar? Just for talking shit. You should give me a dollar just for talking shit. Right? Well, you can give me some money too, Gizmo. Did you give me some money? <laughs> Somebody said he gonna give me. Even if I stay alive to four a.m. Hey, hey, yeah, whatever, man. Why do people talk this crazy stuff? What time is it really? I mean, like you people are crazy. Black alien ain't got no money. <laughs> Oh, that woman was married. Because those people don't really like this channel, man. <laughs> the people that are on this channel don't like this channel. Trust me. <laughs> you want me to go to the hood where they at? You know, whip out the iPhone, set up a little tripod, and sit down and have a discussion about the old days? Man, there's going to be somebody creeping up from behind. It's like, I'll be on the news, man. What you talking about? <laughs> you give all your money to Kennifer. Kennifer, take it, too. <laughs> Kennifer, take it, too. I don't think you do. You know, where I'm, where I'm sitting at now... This place ain't even in my name. <laughs> yep, still got my CCW. I should get the 100,000 K subs. I don't know. I got over 200 now, but I mean, people come and go all the time. They don't stick around. 
I never had the GoPro on my head. What are you talking about? Oh, man, the, the traffic in Atlanta. And then people are just acting crazy. I mean, it's like people don't see the correlation between people having no money and some of the other things that are going around. Uh, how desperate people are. Nobody want to give me, I, hey, man, you don't have to give me anything. I mean, I put it up there for free. I don't put nothing on Patreon. I don't do that kind of stuff. That's not how we, that's not how we move, man. You gave all your money to Kennifer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she take it too. I was. I did. What kind of trucks you driving? I'm, I'm not driving any trucks right now. I mean, you know, a couple of years I may need to. But, you know, it all depends on what else goes on. I mean, I could spend three years in the truck and save enough money to buy a house cash. I know that much. Um, and you know what the closing cost on the house that you buy cash is? Zero. No closing costs. They say they want, say they want $120,000 for the house. Here's $120,000. That's it. Ain't no closing costs. All the rest of them problems are yours. Any. Anybody talking about any commission fees or anything else like that? That's all your problems. You want 120000 Here's 120000 Give me the goddamn... You know, transfer, the, transfer the deed to my name and hasta la vista. See you later. Goodbye. Gone. That's it. You know, what, it, what would really be nice is, is, is if I could buy a building. More so than a house, just a building. Because I need a parking lot. I got too many videos. I mean, I got too many vehicles. I need a parking lot. I don't need a, a driveway. I need a, I need a parking lot. Am I going to buy a new house soon? I, I doubt it. I doubt it. No, I haven't thought about finding a woman overseas. Uh, I got more Metro Ball videos. No, I've never been to the Dominican Republic. But, the, you know, there's a lot of women over there. Uh, I've been told that I'm willing to do something strange. But fools think that they're not really prostituting themselves. Uh, yeah, they're prostituting themselves, dog. And you're a fool if you think... Oh, uh, man, y'all just stupid as hell. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how much I make, make a year. I don't laugh that much. I don't. Yeah, someone top in super chat or her super chat. I, I you know, I, I don't, you know, that'd be cool. I only made like, like a hundred bucks today thanks to this gentleman right here, right? Yep, I got a rifle. No, I didn't like Kenneth for smoking cigarettes, but I, I like Kenneth for so much. And that's, and that's the thing about it. So that's why I don't ever want to meet another woman that affects me like Kenneth. When I met Kenneth, I had wanted to meet another woman that reminded me, that affected me like somebody else. And then I met Kenneth. And then your judgment kind of goes out the window a little bit. And you're, you're putting up with things that you normally wouldn't put up with. And that's what happened with Kenneth. Because I wanted Kennifer like nobody's business. Y'all y'all thought about sex. I thought about Kennifer like all of her. Like head to toe, mind, body, and soul. Uh, <laughs> like Kennifer. And you know, so. The 28-year-old is attractive. She's a very nice looking woman. 
She does not affect me like Kennifer. And so I, I, I can be completely rational with her. And like I said, she's a she's a good looking woman. I like the way she looks. Make no mistakes about it. But it's it's not that same attraction that I had to Kennifer. And that means I can be really, really rational about everything that I how I interact with her. Yeah, I mean at least I I mean, but you know. I think I think Samara went back to Oregon. Alicia Keys would be, you know, all right. But you should think mostly, you know, people like Zoe Kravitz or Dwayne Newton, Michael Michelle, uh, Rochelle Yates. Good grief, Rochelle Yates. Uh, and there's a couple other ones. I mean, these are just people that you can recognize. Um, so. No, no to Beyonce. No, not at all. <laughs> no, Beyonce does. She's a good looking woman, does nothing for me. I mean, she drives everybody else crazy. Never drove me crazy at all. No. I mean, Christi Christina Milian. So much, so much better looking than Beyonce. So much hotter than Beyonce. But does not have the money that a Beyonce has. <laughs> uh, she, didn't like, she wasn't interested in me the way that she, I was interested in her. Zoe Zeldana, absolutely. Zoe Kravitz, Zoe Zeldana, absolutely Zoe Zeldana. Open up my eyes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm thirsty as hell. I'm attracted to women. I like the way they look. And you go to my Instagram page, you will see all kinds of women on there, but I'm not as thirsty as you think. I just... I like the way they look, like a like a fine painting, like a beautiful car. But a, a beautiful woman looks better than a beautiful car and a beautiful painting. But yeah, after that, I mean, you know, what is all that beauty going to do for you? Really can't do much for you. Nothing at all. You know, you got to do, you got to look. You know, you you have to be more than I look good and, and I'm willing to fuck you or I'm willing to fuck you good. I mean, there's got to be more to you than that. If that's all there is to you, then there's nothing really to you. And really, sex is like, I think, number five or six on my list of qualities in a woman. Like, you go down what I'm looking for in a woman. Like, sex is like, like five or six on the list. The prerequisite is I got to be attracted to you. But... Uh, like, it's just like, you're not dealing with a child here. He, even when I was 21, uh, a woman had to add to my perspective. That was number one on the list. That's number one. She's got to be useful to me. That's number two. She's got to be useful to herself. That's number three. I keep losing number four or five or six. I'm fucking... I don't have a religion, sir. You got to be a handsome guy to get a beautiful woman? Really? What? What kind of questions you asking over there, Miss Nicole? I, you know, people saying that I ain't got no game probably more likely correct than anything else. I mean, I just don't have the, I don't have those kind of social skills. I mean, either you, you like who I am or you don't. You know, I'm probably too damn serious. Melody said that, too damn serious. She said she forgot how serious I was. And she was saying that, I mean, Melody go all the way back to high school. Because Melody, the hip song Melody, Jesus Christ.
No, I don't. I, these videos aren't for sale. It's like to sell these videos so people can do whatever they want and have whatever narrative that they want is disrespectful to the people in the videos. And the reason why this channel came about because of all the false narratives that people had. So, because I took down like the person who was downloading and re-uploading, I took those. I took that channel down. Like, I don't like the false narratives. You, you, you can't really. I, I won't let you really, you know, disparage these people like that. Even though some of them are doing exactly the same thing, or some of them ended up in prison. Uh, some of them, you know, some people are just working. I mean, they're just, and that's probably where they're going to be for most of their life. And what I'm doing now, man, I tell anybody, I just got lucky, man. I got lucky. But, yeah, but I mean, I don't, I mean, you're saying I'm broke, but I just spent $9,000 on a car. I brought cash. And then, and I did that, what is it, November? Yeah, it's November, right? But I brought I brought a, another Mini Cooper in March for $9,500 cash. So that's eighteen five in a year. Cash. I, I, you know, I don't, I'm not rich. Don't think that I'm rich. Don't think that I got a lot of money because I don't. But I don't know. I don't know why you're trolling me that way. I think you're just stupid. Um, and I'm not prideful about any of this shit. I mean, I'm just, it's just a matter of fact. I mean, you know, you know, if, if you can, if you can do the things that I've done, then God bless you. Then then you are fortunate to be able to do the things that I've done like over the past almost year and a half. Like, I've really been able to get some things done. I mean, I got one, two, I got six vehicles. You think about that. I should have a house or a building. But we're working on that. But but in any event, you know, and all those cars are used for you know for work. And really, one of one of them is just a car full of spare parts. Now, I'm gonna have to get rid of that car um, after I get all the parts off that I need. I'm just gonna get rid of that car. Um, so I bought the replacement for the one that's a spare parts car in March, and then I brought the one the replacement for the replacement in November, but I still have the the, the, the replacement. So, and it, it, that's still going. So, I, I, yeah, I just don't understand. I don't understand why you just, yeah, but I don't want to drive a Toyota. You know, a Prius would probably be a better choice, but I would be so unhappy driving a Prius. No, dude, I don't really flex. I don't flex. I don't flex. I'm not flexing. I'm telling you what's going on. You know, you don't hear me saying that I'm rich because I'm not rich. That's not it. I mean, all this is just, it's just business. It's investments in business. These aren't like, uh, 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 I don't want to say luxury. Luxury is not the right word. Uh, these are not casual cars. You know, pleasure, pleasure cars. They're all work vehicles. I work out of all of them. And, 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 and so, I mean, I brought one in March. I put almost 60,000 miles on it. So, it's got 138,000 miles on it. And I brought it with 80-something thousand miles on it. So, it's not a flex. It's just business. I mean, that's all it is. No, it's not called a midlife crisis. I, mean, I could buy a condo. I could buy a whole bunch of things. But you need, but I need a building because I'm going to, 
ideally I would have a transit, a transit connect, a mini clubman, another mini clubman, and then my 2006. So I would have like five vehicles. As long as I'm doing what I'm doing, I would have five vehicles. The vehicles are what's making me the money, stupid. <laughs> so that is what's useful. I told you I'm a secure courier. I send Fred messages through through uh, Instagram about things I think that he should know. I know. Where is this permit? Tax write off. Yeah, I mean, like, dude. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I spent at least on purchasing vehicles, maintaining vehicles, tires, yada, yada, yada. I spent at least $30,000. No, March, 60,000 miles. So March, March to October, the end of October. But yeah, you see, you want to say eight months? Yeah, let's say, so 11 minus three, yeah, like eight months. I mean, you could call it eight months. Yeah, eight months, I put 60,000 miles on the vehicle. And that's not the only vehicle I drive. Like before the green one became a parts car, I put 6,000 miles on it. And then there's that old POS Grand Marquis that I use sometimes. And then there's the van. And I probably did collectively like 300 miles yesterday. And I put it on the new one and not the old one. So, I, you know. I mean, it is what it is, right? Uh, how they not been undependable? I mean, the alternator broke on the green one, and then I didn't change the timing chain when I was supposed to, and that's why that one went sideways. Uh, but I changed the timing chain on, on the orange one, so that car should be solid. I mean, there's no problems with it. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You bitches always talking shit in my comment section on undependable cars. It's not a Toyota, but I don't want a Toyota, right? I'm not driving a Prius. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know. Ain't nothing between you, the space and opportunity. And this asshole in my comment section talking about some shit. Well, fuck, you know, do what I do and then come talk to me. I don't know. I don't I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not having problems. I mean, that's why I brought the naturally aspirated mini because it has the least amount of problems with the 122 horsepower. Now I just brought a turbo. So now if we're talking about somebody spending some money, now we're going to spend some money because <laughs> I brought a turbo. Yeah. yeah. How you gonna visit the Metro Mall? Ain't nobody there. It's a chain. It's a chain. That's it's not a belt. It's a chain. Yeah, and you know what? I put $12,000 into that Grand Marquis, and if I can get over 240,000 miles on it, then we're good. It's, I mean, it's really good. I mean, I know he, Fred doesn't necessarily reply to my messages. I mean, he may leave a blue heart or something if it's something that he likes, but he doesn't really, you know, talk to me like that. You know, I'm not really expecting him to. 
Just stuff that he needs to know. Yeah, I was in the red district. That, that means that's where they put me on the red zone. Not the red district, the red zone. And I got stuff out of Pontiac, but I don't even know if that security company exists. Security company doesn't exist anymore. Then, yeah, I can put the videos up because they don't exist anymore. But if it does exist, then I, you know, I'm not going to. Oh, Wallace. I'm not official, I'm just some random dude. So, no, you know, a mini clubman weighs about 2,800 pounds, and they're not really, they're not really fast. A mini Cooper is not fast. I mean, especially by today's standards, a whole lot of things will eat that thing alive. Um, but it's enjoyable, and I'm not buying a Honda Civic Type R. I just don't want one. The last one was hideous, and these don't look really, this, this one don't look any better, and it's going to be the last one with a, with a petrol engine in it, so I don't like it either. And I, I would, like, I'm, I'm going to spend, like, $50,000 on a car, and then, and then put, like, a 70, 80,000 miles on it in a year because I'm using it for work. Not that I could because it, it, I, need, I need the clubman because I need the barn doors. So that doesn't, that doesn't make any, that doesn't, I mean, that's crazy. You know, I, I'm looking for cars that cost like eight, nine thousand dollars and, you know, that's pretty much it. I'm not, I don't want to spend twelve. And there's plenty of cars that I wanted at 12, but man, I can't spend 12. I can't give you that money. There's cars that are worth 15,000. They want 15,000 with 37,000 miles on it. I can't give you the 15,000. I'd rather buy something with $80,000 on it, put the suspension, an aftermarket suspension on it, change the timing chain. They'll all come up to $12,000, but then the car will be pretty much as I want it to be. <sighs> Is Nakia out of jail? Not to my knowledge. No, it's because the sky is blue, the, the sun is yellow, and the grass is green. Uh, so if you watch something like um, Savage Geese on YouTube, uh, they'll tell you that the Camry, the Toyota Camry uh, TRD mechanically is no different than I guess the other the other spec some of the other spec cameras. You have to watch the video. But mechanic is no faster. Is that, you know, it's just it's just an appearance package for the most part. So yeah, well they they're they're probably the best front wheel drive car Civic Type R that was out there. According to like all the reviews it is like got to be the best front wheel drive kind of hatchback sport kind of car out there. Uh, but, uh, you know, how in the heck could I save Nakia's life? What are you talking about? You love me. That's kind of disturbing.
Yeah, I mean they did break into the they did break into the apartment. That's that's without a doubt. Uh, yeah, Kennifer was in the bathroom, and she needed some toilet paper because they didn't have any toilet paper. So underneath the stall with the toilet paper. I mean, y'all people act like like you watched the video. What the hell's the matter with you people? When the kid get out, let her move in with me. Hmm. Why would I do that? Why are you asking me about the kid? Uh. Troy Hardy ain't no damn Dennis. Hey, if you get the hell on out of here, man. Ain't nobody believing that, not for a second. I wouldn't assault anybody if I, yeah, they're like, dude, I don't have that kind of animosity toward those people. Like, y'all got this kind of animosity. I ain't got that kind of animosity. <sighs> I mean, I'm spending my day answering questions here. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I'll do it next month again. Uh, but once you, she, the vehicular manslaughter is not manslaughter, and I don't think the kid was really interested in me like that. So. I don't know if Satan would attack me now. I don't. I don't. I don't see why. I don't see where it would benefit him. Uh, but you know, you, you never know. Uh, the Democrats needed the House as well as the Senate, but you know, hmm. I don't know where Bobby Cummings at. Tell him to bring their guns. Oh, Victor, I would never tell you what goes on with Kennifer. Like, I would never tell you what goes on with, uh... with anybody else. I didn't hate Red. And uh, Troy Hardy is not a dentist. Man, you'd have to you'd have to show me a web page. I swear to God, you would have to show me a web page. <laughs> like you sent the link, uh like I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and look it up. I don't know what is a Walter PDP. <clears throat> you should buy a gun to fit your hand. What are you using what are you using said gun for? Walther PDP. According to Wikipedia, the Walther PP series pistols are blowback operated semi automatic pistols developed by the German arms manufacturer Karl Walther GmbH Sportwaffen. Oh, it's a four inch compact. Well, Walther makes good vehicles. I mean, good guns. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. She called me Malone. I don't think she, I don't think the word was, I think the word is. But, you know, I can never be sure, but I think she is working at the dentist. Orthodontist, something that I could probably use, actually. Troy Hardy, listen, give me a web page. I'm not like, not no, but hell no. That boy is not a dentist. <laughs> if you, that boy is not a dentist. You gonna have to convince me that not no, but hell no. 
Uh, I, you know, look, Google's a great thing, right? Troy Hardy Dentist, Atlanta, Georgia. That is not the same Troy Hardy. So, hell no. <laughs> hell no. You know how many years you got to go to school for that? I, and that's somebody else's job to make a movie. I think I did buy that book. Did I think Rick was a hater? Uh, Rick was not to be trusted. I might. <laughs> God, dog, the things you people remember. I just be watching these videos. No, she wasn't working. I mean, her position is, is not dental assistant. She was like a data entry or something. People are crazy. I can't even remember half the shit y'all say. <laughs> I'm the one, I'm the one, you the one that be leaving. <laughs> you the one that be leaving. That, that's the one you are. <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's so crazy. At least write to Nakia. <sighs> what is with you and Nakia? Yeah, you know what? I mean, Rick. Rick, uh, Rick is just not, he, Rick is not to be trusted. I wouldn't call him a snake. I wouldn't call Rick a snake. It's not like you couldn't see the duplicity. I don't have a budget right now for a house. I don't have enough money. I think when I think of buying a house, some ways I think of buying one cash. And I definitely don't have that money. I need a building more than anything else. A building would be real beneficial. There's so many, you know what, you guys like. Uh, because he was duplicitous. I was duplicitous, but you know. When I got arrested, I remember him coming down, saying something to the police and something. I mean, I remember Rick saying some things. And I just ain't going to tell you. Yeah, now that, I mean, I mean, like I did gather evidence on people. I mean, sometimes you don't say anything. I did PC in jail because like, you know, why, if I'm going to jail and I'm going to bail out the next day, why put yourself at risk of having some kind of incident that could keep you in there longer? And then when I got arrested, they just put me in PC. <laughs> In fact, the sheriff there really, you know, thought somebody was going to come. When I got arrested, thought, thought somebody was going to come and get me uh, that night. No one just came, so, you know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, Rick did that kind of thing. Like, yeah, so when I took that charge into Cab County for kicking that guy's car, yeah, I put myself in PC because... I mean, and it seemed to make sense to me because 
even after I dressed out, or, uh, or right before we dressed out, there was some, uh, they call them trustees, I call them least likelies, you know. He's mopping the floors, and, and uh, he knew exactly who I was. And so, yeah, this makes sense. Because <laughs> the very next morning, my people came and got me uh, out of jail, and then uh, I caught the second half of the Super Bowl. So, uh, Yes, I can see. I don't know why I closed my eyes. Stop, you, know, come here, you know, this is what I'm doing. Right? I could put on some glasses and you won't even be able to see my eyes. Just see the glasses. I don't know what happened to the Smith brothers. You asking me, you know what? Hold on. Check this out. I mean, <laughs> this is funny. I want, I want to see if anybody remembers this. Give me, give me one second here. Mm. Anybody remember this? Anybody remember this? Anybody seen this video with, with this bottle, this actual bottle in it? Anybody remember this? That's that same bottle from the video. The same bottle. <laughs> yeah, from Dude Southern. Yeah, that's that same bottle. No, we, you, you're talking about the flavor, but the people who actually seen the video know they know the date that I brought this bottle, the person I brought this bottle from. I mean, that's the same bottle. That was in the video. This is it. And Rick gave me a bottle of uh, a small bottle of Hennessy about this big. And he gave me that in 2012. I still have that bottle. Unopened just like this one. Cause I don't I don't drink worth a damn, and if I drink anything, it would be the Hennessy, and I didn't drink that. Drake was trying to poison me. <laughs> oh, so why I brought it so I could so I could show them on video that they, who was selling illegal illegal liquor in downtown Atlanta? Cause I would post the videos in two thousand fourteen you know, rather quickly, sometimes the very next day. And I knew that channel was being monitored by the police. So they could so they could see this guy who doesn't have a liquor license selling liquor downtown. That's why I did that. That's why I brought those beats by Dre from, from I can't even remember his name, right? So So people could see what was going on. Nothing's wrong with my eyes, man. I just close my eyes when I talk sometimes because I'm thinking. Yeah, I bought because I didn't have the cash. I, so I just gave him back his money. I gave, I gave Frank back his money the next day. It was no question whether or not I had the money. I just didn't have the cash. I didn't walk around with cash. If that window goes down, I'm leaving. Let me see. Yeah. Martavius Kemp. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Listen, you people don't really understand. But let me, I'll show you something else. Let me, give me, give me 30 seconds of that. Not probably even, probably 10 or 15. Yeah, man.
See, as I go through the storage unit, and people were sending me stuff at the time, I still had the stuff that people sent me. West Edmonton Mall security patch. He sent me both of them off a shirt. I think that somebody, somebody in the U.S. military, Army, and in specific, sent me their patch. I can't remember where this, who sent me this. This was my unit in, in the Army, Alpha 11, 10th Signal Battalion. And then I'm not going to tell you who sent me this. Okay. So, uh, and then I got all the letters that people sent me. I still, I don't know where they're at, but I, I still got them all. Uh, yeah, well, I can figure out how to do it on Instagram, because initially, I, that's why I told everybody to go to Instagram, because people are talking shit, so we can, we can, we can, we can do that on Instagram. Uh, if I figure it out. I did. Ball hair was the worst cop ever? I, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, was he tired of doing his job? Probably so. No, I was sat, SATCOM, never infantry. No, I don't have a purple heart. Never been to battle. Never saw Britney. Britney who? Who's Taj? I mean, um, I don't know. Jennifer's in Atlanta. That's where she's at. Back to Atlanta. My 2012. Oh, I wouldn't sell it at all. I usually don't sell cars. Like, like by the time I'm done with them, they're done. <laughs> they're done. I mean, trust me, they're done. Like, like if, if I take all the parts off the 2011 and I have that mechanic do it, I'm sure he's got like, I don't know how many Mini Coopers because that's all he works on. So he's just looking for a super crazy deal because he maintained that car. And so he knows all it needs is an engine. But if I take off X, Y, and Z parts, he's already got the parts because he sells parts too. He just doesn't work on the cars. So, and, and while I don't necessarily want to give it to him, I may end up giving it to him. Uh... Or maybe not, you know. If somebody hits one of the cars, then I got doors. I got a hood. I got a suspension. I mean, I'm worried about like headlights and tail lights. I'm, you know, those are the things that I'm worried about. The 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 mechanics of the car. I mean, I'm not. I wouldn't go through the hassle of taking, trying to take those off, because uh, I don't work on the cars myself. So. No, I'm not nodding off, dog. Stop worrying about me closing my eyes. You people be concentrating on uh, stuff that don't really matter. Well, I just brought some clippers from Walmart today so I can go ahead and shave my head because the other ones just died. Um, I don't think the question should be what's the longest I had a car what's the longest I had a car <laughs> and it's been operational 
and that's probably been two, three years. And that's it. That's it. Black Hawk Down. Come on, don't be stupid. I don't hate anyone. I mean, I'm not fond of Santana, but I don't hate, hate is, hmm. Yeah, but that doesn't mean, that doesn't, uh, listen, it's hard to make, you got to have money to maintain a car. And when you don't have enough money, you just, you know, you're driving on borrowed time. And so, you know, you can buy a Honda. I had a couple Hondas and, uh, you know, they don't last if you ain't got the money to maintain them. You can have a couple of Mitsubishis, you know, they don't last if you don't have the money to maintain them. I can keep a car longer now because I had the money to maintain it, but I'm using it so much that it it really won't last that long. Uh, like, dude, I'm just talking. I mean, you can chime out anytime you come in. There's people coming, there's people going. I'm just, you know, I'm having a conversation with... With my audience. Did Migos meet a security guard? <laughs> I'm 55 years old. I'll let you do the math. No, I didn't do I was I was a, a satellite communications technician in the Army. No, Liquorville wasn't the name of the store. Liquorville was the name of the skit on Saturday Night Live. And you can't even find the first one. With uh, You can't find the first one. What's his name? Uh, Justin Timberlake. I don't think I don't, I don't even think you could buy that that episode on a uh, uh, on YouTube and find that skit in the video. I think they you know. Who is Rob? Who in the fuck is Rob? Open your eyes, boy. <laughs> I really, like, like, dude, I'm not a media professional. Remember that, right? You, you, you know, me, we're just having a conversation. And really, like I said, if I find out, if I take the time to do Instagram, and uh, people who, whose nuts hang low enough uh, will be on Instagram. And then they can ask me questions there. I mean, I got no problems with it. As long as you're not asking stupid questions, but then I just cut you off. My courage was tested in the Metro Mall. Who was responsible for it? I don't understand the question. I should go on Beehive. Well, I don't think Beehive would actually be interested, to be honest with you. I don't think he would be interested. Who tested what courage? I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Miss Nicole. Look at you talking that shit. Uh, who knows? Did Fred Smith join it? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I, I think I would kick people off for not wearing the mask if, they, if the mandate was that you would wear a mask. But more importantly, during COVID, nobody would let you. Nobody would let you in. Do I have an FCC license? What, a federal firearms license? You mean an FFL? Do I have an FCC? You know what, dude? I do have a broadcaster's license I got back when I was at WBNY, so I actually do have one. <laughs> I actually do have one. You'll be my manager. I didn't abuse my authority. Actually, I didn't use all the authority that I had. You know, a lot of things I could have done back then. There's a video game character based off of me in Call of Duty. Hmm, that's interesting. Become a pimp. Become a P-I-M-P. Yeah, that's, that's not who I am. It's not who I am. So, I mean, that, that kind of thing has got to be in you. You won't be successful at something like that unless it's in you. It can't be on you. And then whoever you are is, is, is at the base of your character will come out and I'm just not that dude. I'm not that person. So I will not be becoming a PIMP. That is not how that's going to work. It's not a bumblebee hoodie, it's a caterpillar. Cause you know I'm working class now so I don't know. You have to ask that guy. Yeah, how you gonna be a pimp with no game? I agree. With, with without the, you know. Uh, I don't know. I walked home. Got you. Either got on a train in a car. I don't think anybody really tested my. Courage, like I think you're trying to imply. I mean, I mean, there's people that just wanted to see if you was live and memorex a little bit, but I mean, there's some people I guess that could have turned up. I mean, but you know, there's consequences to everything, right? I mean, you get into a confrontation, you know, you could win, you could lose. I mean, you know, you start at fifty percent. You don't start anywhere else. Well, I haven't been down there, but according to some people, Peace Tree Street, or that part of Peace Tree Street, on one side, pretty much everything is shut down except the rainbow. Maybe I may be that bank at the end, but it could be that bank at the end. And then only three or four businesses on the metro mall side of the street. I don't know, man, because I haven't been down there in a long time. I, you know, what's the point? Uh, move or get moved, yeah. Have they tested my manhood? What? No one followed me home. Who in the hell is Rob? Who 
Who's Rob? Well, you could have pressed me. I mean, yeah, you could have pressed me like everybody else tried to press me. Right? And then what will happen? What will, what will happen? What will happen? I don't understand. What do you mean that they, they took Frank? What do you mean Frank? Frank didn't test anything. First of all, I mean, he's, you know, he ran the booth with Tanisha. So, you know, Frank wasn't testing anybody about it. What are you talking about? I don't think they use my image. I doubt if anybody used my image. Yeah, I did. I mean, they did rob the house. I mean, that's that's what I mean. They broke into the house, so yeah, and they took some stuff. Uh, no, I mean he wasn't from the mall. I mean he was just down there. I mean that you know a couple of times he you know he wasn't hanging out there like that. I have a CDL. The CDL is how I brought the van. In the, in the two thousand six. I don't miss that job no. Okay, this this lot, you're right, man. I've been hot though. 182 minutes. What was the most busiest booth? Jay's booth. Now, I don't know if it sold the most, but Jay's booth, uh, where Terry was at, and DA, and so it would be on the right side of the mall, across, not directly across from just little glass um, booths where Fred was sitting at. So, but this is where everybody was at. You get rid of that and, and one other booth. A lot of stuff you wouldn't, wouldn't have been in there. Uh, maybe the most profitable would have been the tattoo shop. Well, if this thing don't charge the phone, then you guys are out of luck because we got about 10% left. And if you lose power, then that's the end of this live. You to hit me with a water balloon? Yeah. Life probably wouldn't have worked out for you after that. How long has I been doing this? So what, what? So I've been doing this for like, what, three hours? I don't know what happened in Memphis. Like some people I know, I mean, I kind of got like a heads up on a little bit. And some people I don't. But I, either way, I'm, I'm not really telling people um, some things anyhow. I don't know if Jay was having people. Yeah, I've been doing this for three hours. Frank was Korean. So listen, I've been doing this for three hours. I know I've been doing this all freaking night. Hey, man. Um, you just got here, Bobby Digital? <laughs> God, dog. Uh, hey, you all should just, you know, go ahead and, and join Instagram. And I'll do a live on Instagram probably within the next week. And then if y'all really want, some people want to have a, a conversation there, I mean, an audio conversation. Uh, I 
And and that would probably be better. I've been, you know, there's things I'd be, be meaning to do, but I don't be looking into it. But this stuff, you know, I can do. And, uh, okay, then. Cool. Hey, people, it's been, I don't know, three hours. Good grief. Uh, yeah, he did grab the sack of weed. You've been waiting to have a convo? Uh, <laughs> I've been doing this for three hours. Listen, man, hey, man, look, the people who, who, who broke me off a few dollars, hey, I really appreciate it. So now, <laughs> instead of making $50, I made $125 uh, minus whatever the hell uh, YouTube's going to take from that. And uh, it's, it's cool, man. And, and I really appreciate uh, you, the audience. And uh, be cool, man. Be cool. And I'm going to turn this thing up. Oh, Darren Long's GRSE. You know, just look up Darian Long GRSE. It should be real clear which one is mine. There'd be a lot of women on it, I tell you that. Uh, Yeah, but you know what? I couldn't run. I had a fused ankle. That's the one thing I couldn't do. I could not run. You are correct, sir. That's a lot of things that people did not do. Well, I don't know how many people really paid attention. But since I had a fused, I have a fused ankle, I cannot run. Running is not something I could do. All right, man. It's been a long time, man. I got to go get something to eat. All right, I appreciate you people. I'm hungry now. I didn't mean to be on here. Gizmo, you finally gave me some money. <laughs> Talking all that shit. And he gave me exactly what I told you to give me. One love. No doubt. Real gangsters don't run fast. Oh, uh, okay, man. I, hey, uh, <laughs> you came through for real, dog. So good looking. All right, man. Uh, keep talking. <laughs> I got to go, man. I've been on here three hours, man. Like, we'll, we'll do something on Instagram. Uh and, and and we'll we'll see if we can talk and and then y'all can get you know whatever the fuck it is y'all want to do, uh, all right then.